Okay, today is planting day, and uh, it rained yesterday, off and on all day, and so it's perfect for planting. So this is what we got from MBS Seed Supply, and I'm really excited about it because it's got millet and Sudan grass and a whole variety of different grasses and uh, it'll be a nice mix on our farm that grows really really well when it's hot. Okay let's see what it looks like. Very nice. Look at that mix. It's great. Okay, so all this sat with fertilizer for a day of rain. So this is really day three of working on this pasture. We're going to be hand spreading the seed because pushing the little seed spreader is way too difficult because the soil's deep. Okay, I'm just getting more here. Nothing fancy, but it's the pasture we've always wanted. All done. We used almost all of it, but we'll save this for the other pasture because it's much bigger than this side. And we have another bag of this. Our girls get alfalfa along with grazing and local hay. So we give them two flakes of this in the morning and two flakes of this in the evening. Our next project is putting up H braces for the other end of our fence line that we're creating. Okay, so we're going to take this section of fence down to replace it with these beams. This is a really old rickety fence. Oh, not this part, but that part over there is. And that's ultimately going to be barbed wire fence as well. We have some really nice old grapevines up this tree and it produces a ton of great grapes that we can't reach. So we're going to try and pull it, uh, pull it down with the truck and see if we can get it to grow lower. Okay, so we're going to use a ratchet strap to this big old beast. Try and pull down this section with the truck. Okay, we're ready. Nice and easy. Easy, Papa. Easy, Papa. It sort of worked. Easy. Dear, I didn't expect that. Me neither. Me neither. The toe strap snapped. Do you think it was because it was touching the tailgate? We're wrapping the ratchet strap around the vine multiple times so it doesn't pull in just one spot and snap the vine. Mm -mm. I got this, I don't know, a big monster pry bar, but it's the best and most amazing thing for removing these broken 4x4s four because you just stab it in and you just kind of leverage it up like that. And I've had to dig around these so much before, but this makes it that easy. I would have had to dig all the way around this and then try to get it out. The edge on this side stabs right into the old rotten wood. Leverage it right out. Is 
that the proper way to put a post in well, there? That's how you set a post. <laughs> All right, can you level? Just tap this in. All right, Thank you, sir. Timberlock. Got these ridiculously long ones. <laughs> yep, just like that one. It's a nice bubble. Nice and tight. This 4x4 is holding this entire old fence line up, but soon it will be replaced. Now turn right a little bit. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn. Okay, straighten. Turn right a little. Okay, straighten. The leaves are starting to come out. First line up. 